Good morning, Year 8 students. Um, today's tutorial is how to make a Brianna McCarthy inspired self portrait. Um, here's one I made earlier on. So, Brianna McCarthy does her self portrait in shapes, colours, and patterns. And she uses the style of African art masks um, to influence her work. So if you have decided to work in this style, you'll need to collect up various different coloured papers. Um, I've got some cardstock that I had at home, various different patterns, and I've cut my pieces out ready to glue onto a coloured paper background. So it's useful to cut lots of different shapes for the face in different patterns and different colours. Um, first of all, I've drawn templates onto a piece of paper, breaking down the face into shapes. So we have the overall face shape We've got the outline for the neck, which I've cut out in two different colors. We've got the forehead and the nose joined together, and that's slightly smaller than the background. But don't worry if yours is the same size, you could just cut a little bit of trim off the edge, which I've done here um, earlier, but I'm gonna use this later on as a hairband. So I've cut those out. And I've also cut out sections for the lips the outer lips, the inner lips, and then we've got the eye socket, the upper eyelid, and the center of the eye, or the pupil. Okay, um, I've also cut out some extra bits and pieces, um, flowers to decorate the hairband with, and you may want to cut out some triangular pattern shapes to go in for the cheekbones as well. So first of all, make sure you've drawn out your self-portrait in the style of an Africa mask. So here I've printed out an Africa mask that I wanted to use and I've cut out all the different areas of the face ready. I've drawn around those onto my template sheet and I've used that to draw around the coloured papers and just get everything prepared beforehand. So you will need some glue. Just a Pritt stick will do, but if you only have PVA, that's fine. And what we're going to do is use contrasting colours so that the head shape stands out. from the background. So we've got blue and green here, which is a nice combination. I'm also going to stick the neck down. Now the, the good thing about Brianna McCarthy's work is that some of the joy is in seeing the space in between the shapes that she puts on. So I'm gonna leave some gaps and Stick on the backgrounds first so I can see that lovely blue colour still coming through. So the next stage would be to add the forehead and the nose. You could cut those in two separate shapes if you wanted to. If you want to go really abstract, you could turn the nose just into a triangular shape coming down and have those in two separate patterns or colours. So you notice I've used pattern on top of plain colour. That's again to give it contrast. I'm going to put the background in for the lips. And the background in for the eye socket which I've selected with bits of green in to match the green in the background. So color coordinating is key. Okay, 
Right now, next step is the upper eyelids. I've chosen a yellow so it stands out against the green and the pattern. You could have these different colours if you want to be a little bit more quirky. And then up against the pattern background, I've gone for a plain eye, which again would contrast both the eyelid and the patterns. So you could do these higgledy piggledy, you could angle the eyes to make them look slightly more cat like. Now my next step is to put the inside of the lips. Okay. There we go. Now I've decided to add instead of hair, like I had in the example, decided to add to this one. Um, so there's the hair. I've cut that out in geometric shapes to add to the pattern. And then I've added a nice flower in the hair at the side. For this one, I'm just going to use a contrasting color hairband. And I might just cut that or rip that a little bit shorter. So I don't want it to be too big. Pop a bit of glue on the back. I still want to see some of the green through. Don't worry if you come off the edge of the page. And I'm going to pop a flower on the side there as well. So I'll use, uh, again, the same colour as is on the hairband. And I could add a couple more flowers. You see in Brianna McCarthy's work, she likes to decorate her hair with lots of flowers. So my next step, if I've got any scraps left like this, then I could add some tribal markings to the cheeks and use these little bits that we've cut out and we've got left over to add some of those African tribal markings. Now this can be done either in coloured paper or you can do it using fabric. If you wanted to do a version just with off cuts of fabric, that would be brilliant. Always save your off cuts because you never know when you're going to need extra colours to accessorise. So I'm going to cut myself some more tribal markings for the right hand side cheek just a couple of little lines whatever's left over keep hold of it because you can decorate the background with this as well and i think we'll go for the pink ones again okay there we go you see it's quite a quick method when you finish that, what you could do is go over with the black pen if you want to add some pattern or outlining and add some areas of interest. Then there is our Brianna McCarthy inspired self-portrait.